Hey, what's up, everybody? Toxic Mitzvah here, also known as Spalpower Gamers. If you follow our main channel, get an NT Today's GTA 5 Online Money and RP Glitch video. We got for you guys the Diamond Casino House Replay Glitch. This is a very easy glitch to do, and I'm going to also be showing you guys how to do the Big Con Host on Goad. Full take, fully undetected. You can get this here done in about 13 to 14 minutes. This here will allow one player to take $1.7 million every single time. So let's hop in here. I'm just going to go ahead and just skip to the point of a vault and speed it up two times right here for you guys to see here. Pretty much the drive over here is pretty useless. But what you should do is you should run up to the left door if you're the host. The other player should run up to the doors on the right. You can pause and go to unwind to skip any animation here and go straight to the hack. Usually when I came in here, I've always had to hack like whatever doors are here twice. So you'll open a door and open another door. If you're lucky, you're going to get the best case scenario here. The carts will be spawning right as you open the door right here. That means you're pretty much guaranteed to get full loot as long as like, the other person can get their hacks down. As long as you can hack the doors in under 8 seconds, you're pretty good on cleaning the sucker out. We've had like 55 seconds left before. But pretty easy here. I just always grab the first cart and I go to this cart right here pick it up. These cards only take about 23 seconds to pick up. I've tied my rounds them out there. And you can also use the take cover button sometimes to fast run to the other cards here. But basically what you should be doing is the other person should hack their doors, you hack your doors. And you're going to work from the outside to the inside. And you need to time like if you know you're going to get off of the cart first and you want to go to the cart that's five inches away, that way your friend can get to the closest cart and pick it up. That's how you save time. But right here, we pretty much have this thing cleaned out right here pretty good. He's going to go drill some bots. So personally, I would recommend weaving at this point right here just because you'll save 30 seconds on the house. But you can head about four to five deposit boxes. And I'm going to confirm this guy's dead right here because you don't want him to turn into the Dama Casino zombie. But yeah guys, Big Con is the best approach. Group sacks, you literally just drive into the vault, you walk in here. Now the exit can be a little bit tricky. I'll try to show you guys right here. My friends are the one that done most of the work in this video here, I believe here. But it's pretty easy. You're just going to run out of here. And I recommend being in first person view. This definitely does speed you up a lot. I mean, you probably save like a minute and a half on the house just by being in first person view. But you can walk up here and pause and go to unwind. You can see my friend's key card right there. That means he done the skip animation glitch. That saves three to four seconds per door you do it. But okay, once you get upstairs, you should wait for this guard right here. And you're going to knock him out. Now two things will happen here. This door will be open or blocked. If this door is blocked, no big deal. You just need to just time rerun and go under the camera on the other side. You got to make sure to knock that guy out. And this guy here, let him turn around. If you want to save 10 seconds, you can actually just knock him out. But the other guard might see him on the ground. But later, you get the noose outfits right here. And you can go ahead and just weave. Where you can go in there and knock the two guards out in the security room. And actually end up by grabbing the daily vault content, which is 60 to 80 grand, give or take. Okay, but spawning outside right here, this is a pretty easy path. But you got to be careful. These new guards are what dot. However, once you get past this truck right here, any one of them that sees you it will alert them. So what I always do is I just run past here, and I've climb over this right here, try to stick to the left a little bit to stay out of the cones, and you can climb up here. And basically, you can knock this guard out where you can go straight through here. It's up to you. And pretty much, you just gotta make sure beforehand where the cards are at. Your best case scenario is the cars are to the left of you or the right of you. A lot of time they're down here. So you got to make sure to be in first person view here. If you're not in first person view guys, what is going to happen is the cops are going to make it there before you make it here. And you're going to want it level early. If you're real lucky, you shouldn't get a wanted level. Now we're going to go for the helicopter over here, guys. A lot of people don't know about this helicopter still to this day here. So we can go ahead and get it over here. And to save some time here, you can actually ramp up the curb right here. My friend is better at it than me. But you just jump up over the hill. And you just come over here, jump over the roof. And you're going to go up here where the helicopter's at. It is on this roof. It's going to be a hospital 
helicopter. We're a police helicopter here. So it's pretty easy. You spawn in right here, and you jump up, and you both go. I recommend only letting one person go up at a time, because you can actually knock each other down and waste 20,000 from the fall, which is crazy. Goads infinitely malleable, and apparently just knocking somebody over damages it to the point where it ain't profitable. And if you've done everything right, you're either a laser wanted level, and then you get up on the roof for the helicopter to see you. No big deal if the helicopter sees you. All you gotta do is just get in this helicopter and just seriously weasel them very, very quick, guys. And pretty much, here you go. Here's your police helicopter. We managed to get this down to 13 minutes and 15 seconds with Goad. And the person who stays will be getting $1.6, $1.7 million every single time, guys. You heard that right. This here is better than the Bogdan Glitch. I don't care what anybody says. This here is so much better than the Bogdan Glitch can ever dream of being. Because you have to wait unless you're to call off the Bogdan Glitch. And this here, you can just load back in and start the host up. But pretty straightforward here. I'm going to go ahead and fly to the buyers here. And I'll explain how the replay glitch works and how you both can get money. But pretty much, you need to be ready to disconnect your internet or close your application. The person who is the host should not be flying the helicopter. He should be in the passenger seat. The reason is, it's just easier because you only have to do one thing. You don't have to multitask. But basically, your friend's going to fly up here. And when he gets close to the yellow blip, you're going to be waiting. You're going to hear a sound effect. And you're going to see the screen change. So right here, you pull. You pull the plug as soon as you hear that sound effect where the screen changes. The faster you pull it, the better, because if you wait too long, you only have two or three seconds to do it here. And you will ask, we have to set the host up again. However, you will still have the big con approach. You don't have to go to a new approach. But okay, pretty much from here, all you're going to do, guys, is just load back into the game here. I pulled my internet out of the back of my PlayStation. That's the best way to do it, to save the most time. And now this here is a back-to-back -back because the host left. He did not get the money, but the friend just got the money. What this means is your friend should also start the host up right now. That way he can invite you, and then he's going to leave, and you're going to get your money. So, like, this time you won't get paid, but the next time you get paid. And then the next time you won't get paid, your friend will get paid, and so on, so on. Like, the host doesn't keep the money, the friend does. And, I mean, if we do just that simple, guys, that's what I call it back-to-back. -back. You're going to host it this time, friend gets paid, and that's time. Your friend hosts it, and you get paid, and you take turns. And comment your usernames down below and everything. So you guys can wink up, and you can do this here back-to-back. -back. But if everything worked out, you'll still have the host. Whether you can walk back up to your board, and you can start the host again, guys. It is literally that easy. You can fire it right back up. This is way better than the Bogdan Glitch. You get almost twice the money, especially with Diamonds being in the game right now. And you don't have to wait on Wester to call you. So screw Bogdan, Casino Haas back to back all day. But that's going to be it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if it's usernames. You can get some back to back.